What's up everyone? I'm Sam with Backcountry Lap. I'm here hiding behind our 2019 CR250 RX. Now, we are getting ready to sell this bike and it's starting to get a lot colder and for some reason the stock or the OEM battery went dead. I tried triple charging it. I tried all the things I know how. I'm not an expert at mechanic or anything like that. Never claimed to be. So we bought a new battery. Just in place. All right, we are going to be replacing this battery, so let's take this off right now. Here's the old battery. All right guys, taking out this stock battery, it's the HY85S battery that comes stock with it. Not 100% sure what that means. So this is gonna be a new battery for this bike. Let's open this up. I feel like a really small person. Got the tusk scissor lift here, lifting this bad boy up so I can work on the bike. Seems like a big box for for a battery. So, what kind of battery is it, you guys ask? It's the Tusk Lithium Pro battery. So, here it is, the TLFP7AL. That's basically the size that fits in this Honda. Obviously, if you guys aren't familiar with um, batteries, there are size specific for different dirt bikes. Um, Tusk makes these for ATVs and UTVs as well. So this is a lithium battery pro. Now it's not a lithium ion, it's a lithium iron battery. So they're supposed to be extremely lightweight, lighter than the, the uh, OEM battery that comes in your dirt bike. And also supposedly supposed to be uh, more powerful. So better starting, better cold cranking amps. This is a 12 volt, 24 watt battery. All right, so Tusk claims that this will last five to eight years longer than your standard OEM lead acid battery. I have no idea if that's true, but that's what they say. And also um, they're saying that it's going to be um, a third the weight of a lead acid battery. So a lighter battery. So if you're weight conscious like this, old girl, she needs to be a little bit lighter. <laughs> Not that it matters really. And anyway, so supposedly they're environmentally friendly, friendly. I don't know what that means. If anyone that knows more about batteries, comment below. Um, there is a test button on the battery, on the LED to tell you how much battery power it is. Um, they're charged a little bit different. So you need a, a um, charging voltage is a 14.4 volt uh, standard 1a maximum 4a so your normal lead acid batteries are going to be a different charging so there is a way to ch charge these lithium iron batteries so they are a bit different so we're going to install this in the honda and give it a try all right first things first this is the size difference between this is the OEM Honda or whatever I pulled out of the Honda. And to be honest with you, they feel about the same in weight. <laughs> so I don't really know. Um, there's the LED. I don't know if you can see the light light up on that or not. But uh, yeah, so negative and positive. We're gonna get this going. So this is a 140 cold cranking amps. Um, when I'm talking to people online about it, a lot of guys say it didn't like the cold. I don't know if that's true or not. Some people said they have no issues. I uh, will try it out. It's cold right now. We're in the end of October. So we'll throw it in and see if that's true or not. So it's got these, these um, like brass 
fittings on there, which I'm gonna take off. I took off the brass. I don't know quite how I'm gonna fit it all together yet. I'm gonna first see, it looks like it's a little bit fatter. There's this on the bottom. The, there's a little rubber thing that came on the bottom of this. So we're gonna slip that in there first. It's kind of a tight fit. Here this is. Like I said, it's a bit of a tight fit. There's the test. Let's see if we can get it dark. Stand over this. So there's the test LED. Strap will go over it, so I don't really need know why that matters. Okay, we're gonna install this. Struggle through it. All right, guys, so I got a problem. So here's the negative line. These were the, the hard, hardware, or here's the bolt that was provided with the Tusk Lithium Pro battery, and it won't fit through this hole on this cable. So I'm assuming it's the same with the positive as well. Yes, yeah, just two small. So I'm gonna have to force this through there to get it to work. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. The bolts for the OEM stuff is smaller. Let's see if I can get this through without ruining it. Not working guys, so these bolts are too big. So I'm gonna have to drill out those wires. Come on, Tusk. So I drilled through that to get this to fit through it, which it does now. So I had to modify this. Now we're gonna do positive. Not a mechanic. Never pretended to be, never wanna be. Let that cool off before I touch it. This tur turned out to be a longer project than I anticipated. So it doesn't fit that way, only fits this way. But in order to sit flat, you can't have it with the longer end to cover this little notch. You could use, try and use the other stuff. Tighten everything up. Here's what it looks like. I had to drop the some of the pieces that came with it, a copper chunk, I guess, to put the um, positive on. It's just too tight. So they have a little thing, you know, longer nut with a round spacer. Um, but this cable going over the top, um, you can't even push the LED to see if the battery has got power or not. I had to drill out the holes because these nuts, um, excuse me, these bolts were too long. So I had to drill them out, which was annoying. Um, so it's not a complete plug and play for the 2019 CR250RX. Comment below guys, if that's the same issue you guys have had, if you've had any issues with the Tusk, um, positive and negative, I wanna know in the comments below. We are now done installing the Tusk Lithium Pro battery. Let's see if the bike starts. So pulling the clutch. Original thoughts guys, so this is around 75 bucks. So it's 
you know, not necessarily going to be a cheaper option for you when it comes to your stock or OEM battery. Just depends. Um, I know the OEM prices are all over the place, but it seems like it's a little bit more expensive than a standard um, lead acid battery. It's lithium pro, so it's supposed to last longer, be lighter, and have a little bit better cranking amps. But one negative or downside is um, going to install this. There, you know, I had to drill out the um, positive and negative cables because the nuts and, excuse me, the bolts wouldn't fit through the hole. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. That's annoying. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys that have this Tusk Lithium Pro battery have experienced that same thing. Comment in the comments below. And uh, we're gonna see how well it does. We'll come out and start it a few times. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's installed. It obviously starts and it works. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below what you think, and we'll see you next time. That was more of a project than I wanted.